Euros on tour. Barry? Thank you, Lynn. We are heading to Kent, so a little private week. Can't say where just yet, but we're an hour and 41 off. It was four hours, so about halfway through the journey. And uh, yeah, I feel you when we get there. We've got to stop and get some food and that. I am starving. Um, let me flip this. Hello. Um, yeah, I've not long come off finishing uh, a campaign in Milton Keynes. Whether you would have seen that by now or not, I don't know. But yeah, it's all landed perfectly for mine and my brother's uh, annual birthday social type thing. Um, well, not my birthday. It was my brother's birthday in October and we booked this out. Um, as a little treat and uh, we're also going over to Dinton Black Swan um, for three nights after the back of this so five nights fishing ahead of us um, we are allowed to film so uh, I've already boxed off with the owner it's like a little bit of a sort of a Red Mire feel to it but based in Kent like a little private lake just me and him Air Airbnb cabin on there and all that looks nice for somewhere for us to get away to um, not too sure on what car we're in there, seen a few pictures, some nice old ones, but there's some stockies and that. Like I say, it's not about fishing for some big mythical monsters or anything. It's just about us getting out, spending a bit of time together, doing a bit of fishing, and then maybe we might go and fish for some monsters at Black Swan because we know there's some big ones in there. Here we go. What's first impressions? Good security. Oh my god. Oh, this is nice. I'm not going in with my boots on. Sick. I need to find a weight, brother. Looks like it's over there. Proper bit of peace and tranquility. That's what we wanted. Can't hear a road or a plane. Beautiful. It's just like a big long lake by the looks of it. Haven't made it round yet. Oh yeah. Absolute doublers. Beautiful on here. Look at this. Battery's running well, but I'll just show you the view. One for the pads and look at this. Our kids got the dolly hole. <laughs> look at this. Hey. Doing bits. Just getting sorted now. Catch up later. Whoa! Look at this. Absolutely bouncing. Oh, sick. Oh, there we go. Same, bruv. Big dirty rainbow. Your spot on the end of it, yeah. That's old granddad, that mate. Ooh, an old boy. Right. It's walking down my margin. I'm obviously just fishing here to the right. I'm going to fish up to that pad, I'm sort of fishing across this swim but obviously we've got the weight to ourselves and obviously we're having a bit of a social so I'm just kind of walking down with the wedding rod just going to have a little feel with the wedding rod see what it's like, I don't want to mess around too much just going to make sure it's nice and clear and uh, go from there really because I'm not going to go right in here so it's literally going to go one where the tree meets the pads Probably one across the front of the pads, and that's it. Somewhere down here. I've actually seen a fish jump out the front of these pads and see a couple behind them as well. Obviously fishing locked up. Right, let's do it. Um, where can I put you? Oh, look at that. Lovely little shot, that. Edward's thinking, is it L, mate? That is shocking.
thought it would be. Well now, uh, brother, talk to us. And a bit of, what is it, a straight chop? Straight manila chops, bro. Straight manila chops. Straight manilas. What about on the rods? Little four over each rod. Four spawns over each rod. Lovely. Yeah, what? <coughs> what you doing? You've gone snowman's, haven't you? Snowies. Not open all the time. <laughs> It's me because I've buddy um I've tightened them right up because I was buddy range fishing on that um Milton Keynes. So that's why I said um, might be better going a big one. Oh he's accurate, I'll give him that. Um yeah, well you you gone snowies, snowmans. Yeah, a couple of little snowmans. A couple of little snowsies. And I'm going for a little Dumbbell wafter noodle and a tiger nut noodle. Now it is barbus on here, so we has obviously got the. Uh, well, you can't see them, but these are curve point barbus. Let's see if you can see this. Curve point fours in the barbus. Uh, I haven't used barbus for a long time, but you know, rules are rules. Um, yeah, got no braid as well, no lead core. So we've got the four row straight through. Um, yeah, so there's a few things that are sort of out of my comfort zone. I would have liked to use a baiting pole really, just to down this edge where I'm fishing. Um, especially just placing it in down there, just so we didn't have to do that bit of lead in. But, it's what it is. No baiting poles allowed, no bait boats or anything like that. So, just it always feels like little intimate ponds like this. You're just like, every lead, lead you're like, ugh, cringing, you know. Even every spawn, it's echoing. Like, we're called, surrounded in trees here, so everything just echoes. and. But, you know, hopefully they're not too far away, they got the safety of the pads, it's not, it's obviously a long lake that way, but hopefully they just get around and we'll see, we don't even know what the stock is. I know there's one that's a, I think, I think I've seen that the big one is like a 37 pound common, long common, um, real nice fish, there's some nice ones in here. But I haven't really done much digging, it's just a bit of peace and quiet, a bit of, um, bit of a sanctuary for me and our kid, Barbie tonight. Lovely. Spent 120 quid at Waitrose. Waitrose is bad enough, but down south. Oh. Mm. Here's the mix. Manila, chops, mush, some holes, a bit of maize and a bit of caster. So we bought four pints of caster and we've got to get them used. Uh, I didn't know that there was a lot of small fish in here, otherwise I wouldn't have brought any at all. And obviously we can't use it, it didn't because it's banned on there, so might as well use it. Oh, there's quite a few small fish in here, i.e. sort of roach and all that. But, we're not going to get the up bait, so a bit of attraction on the spot. We'll see, our kid's just gone straight chop. I'm going to try this, see if this works. Bit of a flack of call with a maze. This works, obviously. He can uh, change his up. But I can't, I can't take it out. <laughs> it's only a little bit. A little white thing on the surface, short bit, what is that? It's fizzing. Fizzing, bro. I'm watching it here. Just landed on the fizz. Is that tight or? Good angling, tell. Nah, that's not tight on that. Bro, that's in the kill zone, lad. Nah, it's swung back. No. Trust me. It's swung back on the belt to the four hole street, then up. Gonna run out a bit more so it sort of clips them. About to see the trail bubbles come back with. That's the one. Yeah? Yeah. Too far. Yeah. Further. A little bit further. Further, further out. That's it.
obviously give him the dolly on one. Got to keep his fans happy, haven't we? No, mate. Hey, you mugging me off then, lad. I'm going a bit tighter to the lot of it. What? It's like it's going to come away a bit. No, what? Yeah, I want to be away anyway, don't I? Got the Kelvins on. <laughs> Got the CKs on. Oops. Yeah, we caught you last night, mate. Absolute bomb on Just that. Oh, the old cobs fired up there, bay. Wow, what we got? We have got, like I said, weight trolls, jerk chicken. Gourmet burgers, whoops it. Reduced to four pounds sixty-five for two burgers. <laughs> minted lamb, minted Welsh lamb steaks, leg of lamb steaks, cheese. We've got some cheesecakes. Our kid's gone for the um, olive starter, not for me. So I've got a prawn cocktail starter. That's about it. A few baps and that. I'm on the non-alcoholics. Asahi. How are you saying this, bro? Asahi. Asaha. Asahi he Zero percent. Our kid is currently on his 19th sup down there. How many of you had of them I'm now, bro? I'm giving these a whirl, these little blood orange factors. Blood orange factors. You had the cloudy lem lemos though, don't you? Yeah, Rods are all out. A little bit of a trickle of wind keeps coming up. A little bit of a trickle of rain. It's lovely. Gotta be nice to wake up to, them birds are gonna be absolutely crying. Oh, jerk chicken looks mega. Boom, here we go. Switch, we've just gone down. Well, it was about eight o'clock. We got one. Oh, it's not a bad fish. I'm saying that might be a 30 pounder. Jeez. Sick. We have a carp. We have a carp. Sick one as well. It's like a good fish. You see? Might go 30, that, isn't it? Yeah, possibly. Let's wait him up, lad. Keep it rolling, you tell how it weighs. Oh, way up. It's carp rods. Nick Russell. Got myself wet. Stay with me. Is my weight light affecting that arm? Yeah. Huh? What are you saying? I've got a Kent 30. Brother? Yeah. 31 14. <laughs> Saying, take one fourteen. First one. Hopefully the first of many. Nice fish, though, aren't they? Really nice. Obviously they're quite bright. But it's that colour of water. I'm sure if you uh, caught one early doors and you put it in the bags, in the bag for a little while, it'd uh, darken up. But no need for that. First one, hopefully first of many. Mwah. First Kent cap. Right, it's not even, what, 10 o'clock, half eight, is it or something? Our kid's right hand has got absolute meltdown mode. 
Lovely little koi. Like a ghost koi, I think. Yeah. Kill him. Oh, mega. Didn't know there's koi's in it, but we do now. Look like a silvery ghosty one. Sick. He's right. On a piece. That's what we like. Barber sucks come out in the net. Same as mine. Sick. Go on, bruv. Good aim. It's like ghost. Ghost common, isn't it? Yeah, ghost show. Yeah. There you go. Our kids off the mark as well. That's exactly what we all wanted. Is it the team? In the water? Yeah, walk along the pipes. Oh, it is. Clever little b. I thought it was a f yellow bird in the water. Like a little wagtail, yeah. Sicko. Put that in the old um, log book for the rare species. Look at this. Definitely the sort of place that you'd want to own, isn't it? Swimming, don't it? Yeah. Definitely the sort of weight. We were just talking, me and our kid. Sort of size, like, and the sort of weight that you'd want to own yourself, innit? In your buddy garden. Beautiful. A few more weeks and them trees are going to open mega. My man is in. Tight in. Hard right for pads. You short of them pads, do you reckon? Go through your eyes, bro. Ah, be alright. He's in now. Get in! Mate, that's a mega fish. Flip him. Oh, he crossed the back. Oh, yes. Mega. That's got to be a 30 pounder, hasn't it? Oh, look how stumpy he is. Oh, that's mad. Sick! Boosh! Ready? Oh, I'll just read it there, fold it, boy. I do. Chuck him out. With it? 
Put it there. Boosh. Zero. Just gonna uh, weigh it up and uh, stick it in the bag for a minute. Peeing down. So, oh. stick it in the uh, retainer. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice one, this. Eh? Right character. Oh. Oh, he's nailed. This, bro. Oh. Look at that. That's a fabulous hook that comes straight out. Scary, that, isn't it? Oh. Definitely. Don't like the idea of a barbless meat. Oh. No, that's not good, is it? Okay. There we go. Move up there. Oh, that's a pig. Oh, that's a pig. That's a good fish, isn't it? Look at the head on it. Whoa. Treat him up. Let's have a look at the other side quick. Oh, that's oh, a nice fish. I'm going to whip that net out for us, bruv. This one, lit. Got a bit bigger than the last one. Yeah, I'd say so. Got to be 33. Please. Oh. Oh, I now, I? You seen this on these, bro? Yeah. Little uh, fingers. <laughs> so he's put an eight. Eight turn grinning that in with the cord, doesn't it? <laughs> Edgy. Right. What we got, bro? I'll come this side. Check that pack for me underneath that side. Good. Good. Sound nice one, brother. Yeah? Come on, bro. Just tell me. Who can put it down? 36.4. 36.4? A bit short, lad. We're not fly fishing yet, Lloyd. <laughs> Ten minutes later. <laughs> yeah, that, that's in the pads, that Lloyd. Two hours later. Yeah. We got there. Sausage and bacon. Just a little bitchy <laughs> session, ain't I, bruv? Wrecky and brew. All about the smoke streaky. Looking good. Right then, just set up a little float rod. Is this what me and our kids used to do when we were younger? So we brought one with us. What a buzz it is watching that float. If you ever get bored of watching one of them, the fishing's done in my opinion. <laughs> The buzz. You had it where you go to sleep at night, close your eyes, and you see a fault. <laughs> You've been watching it that long. You may get to see one. Take it. We're doing a, a bite each. So if he misses it, it's my goal. Or catches one, obviously. We've only got casters though, but casters are a bad man bait. Looking very um, serious down there, bruv. Tail was a bit basher.
pressure's on to catch onto the canvas. Oh, oh, that was definitely something. Let's get a little zoomsy on. Oh, 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 oh I've missed this. Go on, go on, go on, go on, yep. Yeah. Yes, brother. Yes, it's a good gin. It's a oh, it's a perch, bro. Let's have a look. Yes, brother. Absolutely nailed. Number one. All right, my turn. All right, we've got yeah, that to beat. Trophy shot. Trophy shot. Sorry, mate. Are we? Are you getting his dorsal up and that? Get my ear up towards your face. Hey, oh. He's uncaught. Uncaught. Go on, brother. <laughs> it's just stacking them up now. I missed one. Let's have a look at them. Is he bigger? About similar. Similar. Peter. Oh. Oh. Lovely. Right. Just gonna. Just getting set up down here. The camera just in this little swim here. Nice little gap. Trying to find the right. I think I might be able to get away with. It would be nice with all this sort of autumn, autumnal sort of background with the pads and that. Be nice, that I reckon. Um, for the video, anyway. We'll see. Oh, he's mega. Hey. Ooh, got me mad wet. <laughs> Come on, you know the score. Ready? Hello. Where? Oh, oh, you deal with that. Sliding down there, you want to stop that back to the flashing. It's only a little one. Right then, got a little, little common down there. Thought I'd show you this one, obviously that rod ripped off. Me and our kid doing bits, and that's what it's about. <laughs> well done, kid. Yeah, boy. Get him back. I'm going to have a look at this little, little common that disturbed us. Look at that, brand new. <laughs> Sicko. Go on, bro. Right, go and do some fly fishing, brother. Say that whether you catch them or Here not. Here we oh, go. Just replay your ticket and take your chance. Oh, I'm excited for this. Springgill Trout Fishery, Pembury. Is that the lake down there, where you are? There it is. Looking forward to it. Me and our kid have come dressed to impress. <laughs> yeah. What's uh, what's his name? Chili. 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 Was it a her? Yeah, yeah, she's old, oh she. Hello. Hello girl. She was twelve in June. Twelve. She's off in spring up. She's a spring of Lakeland. Lovely. Sweet. It's a little lodge, and I didn't know this. So basically, if you call me, you pay for two fish, you could take them, three, four. I didn't know this how it worked, but if you pay for four and you don't catch four, you still have to pay the 45 quid. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a challenge with yourself, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, loving this. Yeah. <sighs>
practicing this roll cast. Mm-hmm. Lying. It's just slow. Well, he did give me this clonker. What's it called? Priest. The priest. For clonking them on the head. <laughs> it's to read the last rites. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Come on, show us how it's done. Bit of line out there. This is a heavier, the same length rod. Yeah. But just a heavier line. So it's easier for you to recognise the, the rod load. Ah, okay. Um, and heavier lines as well, you can deal with the wind a little bit more. So if you get a really windy day, it's like it's like casting a light lead when it on a windy day. If you've got heavier lead, it just cuts yeah. through. Yeah, well, I did notice that. And then as the wind pushed, it sort of shortened me. You know, it, it, it was going out straight, and then it pushed it back all towards me. You know. So casting with the wind, there's various things of casting in the wind, and everything you do when it's windy is to compensate for the wind direction. Yeah. So like if you've got a head-on wind, you wouldn't cast out and let your line unfold and land on the water you need to cast down harder to counteract that wind blowing towards you. Because okay. if you cast out normally, your line will go out like that and it'll blow back yeah. in like so. So you need to cast down at all and then it cuts through the wind a little bit better. Yep. Yeah. Again, this will be roll cast. Yeah. yeah, it's nice that, isn't it? That roll cast is brilliant. Yeah, do you know what just it makes you? you right straight and uh, just stick to them guys there, is it? These yeah. ones, yeah. yeah so so yeah. What, what that does as well, the roll cast, it just makes you a little bit more um, dexterous with the rod, and it, 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 it allows you, it lets you see. <coughs> but I can go further than that, can't I? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course yeah. you can. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's definitely more tippy, isn't it, this? And then if I were to go further, we'd just pull a bit more wine off yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're happy every time, and yeah. you're all the time you're getting your line laying out straight, then you yeah. can fire out a bit more. Back to That's it, good. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Good. <laughs> perfect. It. It's just, you know what, you've corrected your rod position on the way back. Yeah. It's just nice to stop. Yeah. Just wait for your the load is key for everything. everything With this figure of eight, you build it up in your hand and then drop it after yeah. a bit and then yeah, build just, it up. Yeah. So as long as you've got open palm on the way down, you're just dropping yeah. the line on the way down. Then Hardy. J.R. Hartley was the one, wasn't it? J.R. Hartley. Absolute wizard with the fly. <laughs> Take the mick, you lad. I'm down there in all sorts of tangles. I've caught two reeds. Does that count as anything? Well, that's a funny walking, eh? <laughs> did it, yeah? Yeah, that's oh, a on, funny bro. looking eight. I put it on there. I did it did actually have two uh, draw eyelashes on it. So it looked like a pair of eyes. <laughs> that roll cast is the one, isn't it? That roll cast there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Come on, brother. Because you're probably want to go in that swim to my left, you know. I keep seeing I'm jumping. Yeah. I've got to uh, change your floor on there, bro. Put half the floor. Come on, bro. No. First tangle. First tangle. Don't eat that. Got to make out that he's a pro. Right, come on, bro, ski. 
Right, I've been messing right up down there, bruv. Nah, I got better now. Yeah. Yeah, man. He's a pro, man. Sicko. I'm absolutely gutted. I just lost one. <laughs> oh, it's mega. Finally, we got the hang of it. And then, yeah, that fast retrieve, literally. So see the leader pull away from him, it's like the yellow leader line, whatever. And um, yeah, which he tail walked out and I was like, oh, he's shouted him. And it jumped out again and then literally come off. But obviously I think they squashed the barbs in. Um, so maybe that's why, I don't know. But um, probably just beasting it, will I? But yeah, we're done for the day. It's been mega. It's something I'll definitely do again. Now I've got a little bit of a technique. Obviously, I'm by no means anywhere near <laughs> ready to uh, do it professionally. But practice makes perfect, same with everything. Uh, it's been good. You loved it, Lloyd, what? Lloyd's just trying to get one with a tag in it because you get 100 quid. <laughs> get 100 quid if you catch a tagged one. But, um, yeah, it's good, man. Love it. Right, back to the car pin, I think. Start oh, one. Three, three to four years old, so these are. Yeah, they're the water's cooling down while they're some mad for I'm loving that though. <laughs> Sick. Oh, what the f Whoa. Bones have come up yet, which is good. There's the bait, Manila, raise a bit of caster. Oh, there's a phone. There's a phone just come up. Literally just seen one there. Over there. Right. Alright, we are done. Then, oh, everyone's been dying to see what sure big car. What do you mean? People not allowed to see it? No. You know. Put it in, Andy, that's what it is. Wine and wines and all that, yeah. <laughs> Edgy lid. He's very protective, but he's gonna let it slip this time, right, bro? What do you mean? Delete it. I can't delete it. Delete it. The screen doesn't work. I can't delete. Don't do it, Andy. Do it, Andy.
Out the bomb. A lovely drop, bruv. Not sure about the blue foam now. Our kid is now to the right hand side of them pads there. See it? Just off. Oh, we're not allowed to see that. <laughs> not allowed to see the spot that he's on. And he used a blue foam. Edgy. I'd never use a blue foam. Baddest of badass drinks. Badman drinks. Boom. That's where it landed. See the old bubbles going all the way back. On. Cobstone is lit. And that is about the freshest rainbow trout you're gonna get. Oh gutted. Ovs. I'm gonna stick that on the cob in a bit after we've had the other bits, put that on last in the old foil. See how that goes down. That was obviously one that I caught. What was it though? About four pound. <laughs> I can't believe I lost one. This is what you get. It's payback, innit? Oh no, it does make me feel sad, but... Nature, eh? Way of the world. Cump them on the head. Our kids just snuck in, straight out with the poacher. Let's have a look, Lloyd. Swing him out. Little rotch, we well, hold him out a bit more. Can't see him. There we go. Little rotch. See, two, £3. Two, three pounds. I'll stick him in with a trout. <laughs> so we stacking them now. And I'm stacking burger, sausages and cheese. Got that all going. And obviously we've got the trout. I've also got a pork shoulder in here, which looks absolutely mega. I'll put that on with a trout, I think. Oh, look at that. Sneak. What a, what an absolute haul, brother. Look at that. <laughs> Sick. Well, well, well. My rods are still out. It's going to mean our kid's going to wig the common. Definitely seen a picture last one. It's got a uh, patch of scales missing on its uh, left flank. Not the flank you're about to see. But yeah, nice one. Definitely a 20, I'd say. Good 20, isn't he? Look how long it is. Very long. Sick. Long, isn't it? Wow. Very long. How's that patch? You've got 23. Eight, brother. Yeah? Yeah, man. I'm a bit blurry, I think. See a bit meaty. in the evening. 
Seems awfully times. That's when I believe autumn really begins. <laughs> Off to Dinton today, and I cannot wait. I've been up last night and woke up at 12. I had to wait till 4. To be honest, I didn't need to do it on here, but I was just getting my body cock all sorted. So I'm getting on the hunt tonight. Absolutely peeing it down, wet pack down, but well, we don't care. <laughs> Look at this state of me. Absolutely gipping. But on to the next mission. I would have to uh, to Reading, to Dinton. Let's go over there, see what we can do. Well, if you thought it was wet before, it is peeing it down. <laughs> but we're here. Just mooching down the bottom end now. I'm gonna update you later because it's absolutely soaking. Our kids just gone to get a coffee out of there. So uh, we've got a couple of swims bucketed, but doesn't mean that's where we're going. We just occupied a couple just in case in the bay where we've seen, we'd seen two fish in there, but never know they might be out here as well. Oh, here we go, mission on. Let's do this. That's very high. Got the dinghy in there though, that's why. The ding whack. It's a very quick update. I'm sort of sorted in a swim known as Seven, I think it is. I have fished in here before and I've seen a carp out here. I know a couple of spots, so I'm gonna just literally keep disturbance to a minimum if the spots are still there. That is, I've been in my notes on my phone and they're like sort of 16 reps out of here. Well, here's me notes from sort of last year when I fished it in the winter or this year. Our kids next door did see some carp out near that big aerator there that you can fish to from a swim down to the left. It's range, bit of my game. But at the same time, trying to have a bit of a social. Seen a carp here, it's good enough. If I feel like they're over there in the morning, new plan, get out there, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully it's Sunday, so hopefully it's not going to get too busy. But, you know, there's a lot of big carp in here. We'll come to that in a bit. But yeah, anyone that knows Black Swan, but I've seen the fish here, I know the zone, so sure on. What else? I'm just literally wrapping up now, see if the spots are there. Um, kettle's on, first brew, still soaking wet. Gonna get me rods all sorted and all that. I've got some fresh clothes in there, get nice and dry, warmed up, brew on, cannot wait. Well, like a different buddy day. <laughs> just pop the mark up on me couple of spots, been out and bait it, literally. Miller, a bit of corn, and that's it. Just mulched over one spot there. I've done the one over there. It's only short, 45 yards, 50 yards on that one. Somewhere like that, between 40 and 50, nothing major. Which you put about that much at the bottom of the bucket over two rods. So I just wanted to be quick because there's a lot of people getting set up in the bay. If I can get sorted here, bump on, and then they mess around, push them out, that sort of idea. So here we go. Nicky Russell, the love muscle in the house. Not happy with the cleanliness of my um Ooh, that on your hand, mate, that your missus. <laughs> um not happy with the cleanliness of the cups, but yeah. Just yeah. vanilla dumbbell, standard stuff. Just gonna put a little yellow top on the top of this to match the maze. Uh, yeah, two on one, one on the other. Pretty basic. carbon duct, literally super slack, so it's like I'm not even here, you can see it dripping off the tip here, some new fluorocarbon this is from TA that I've been testing, used it this week over in Kent, it's been sound, so that's all I needed, I know a few of the boys that have been using it anyway, these ones are starting to pick up a little bit, I'll just keep paying it off until I feel that's about right, but yeah they shouldn't be too far off, bottom all the way out there now. <sighs> 
want to be acting all stealthy, don't I? I'm all set up, a bit messy, getting there. Yeah, they're out there. And uh, yeah, let's go and see what our kid's doing. He's around here. Look a different world down here, boys. Oh, we ain't got no matching, have we? <laughs> got all matching track suits and that. <laughs> TA tracky kids and that. <laughs> our kid's looking a little bit edgy here. What are you going for, bro? Three on one? Right, if that ain't three on one spot, I don't know what is. Oh, look at them. Looking good, them, brother. Them wow. wines, super slackers, aren't it? Yeah, every person we walk past, all the man <laughs> Just a bit of a uh, kebab. Absolute meat boxes. Doing it, boys. Enough bread there, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a carps has showed on me as well. That kid has got absolute chicken for sheeters on him. Where is it? Basically, yeah, there it is. Where is it? Where are they? Where'd he gone now? I'm literally just there. Come on. That one's boomed out on me. From here. I went to grab the food. One's gone wallop. Bang on me. Come on. Come on, focus. Stopped. Oh, that was short lived. Hmm. Oh, no, there, 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 Um, apparently it has been all show, no go for the last couple of weeks. Really. I think it's been a couple out, um, nothing significant. I'm told could be, you know, lads could be keeping things quiet. And that I'm not sure. But from what I know, it's not fishing the best, but they're in here. You know, there's 500 carp, probably four or 500 at least uh, in 90 odd acres. I think it's about 96 acres, and you know, we're talking two, one definite 60, potentially two 60 pounders. That is one of which is a massive linear that could be really big at the minute because it's not been out all year. Um, you know, five, six, maybe even seven fifties and f 40, 40s, which is a joke. Don't even think about the 30s. I was uh, speaking to one of the lads earlier, Simon, who uh, owns the place, or, or runs the place, sorry. Um, he knows everything he has to know about these fish. He, he stopped them, reared them a lot, and uh, he reckons he keeps a cat. He does keep a catalogue of everything the captures and all that. It's one of them sort of places. It's tight knit like that. It's a closed book, so um, there's no reason for it to all be hidden. That, but yeah, he catalogues everything and the weights and all that. And he reckons that there's 45 fish over 38 pounds that haven't been out this year. What sort of stock is that? Scary. But um, we just have to one, one or two between us. You know, I'd love to see my brother catch one. I actually made a prediction, um, and you can be my witness when I open my notes now. So this note here, I put it on. Sometimes I like to do this because you never know. Um, so it's there. Um, it's free down yesterday. I writ it, and it says, one second, yesterday. I don't know if you can see that. It says I predict my bro will catch. A cheese on black swan 50 plus but prob spike <laughs> that'd be mega I'd love to catch see him catch anything um, I've had a couple out of here but I've only fished it through the winter months um, generally December January I've had a couple on zigs never really properly felt like I'm angling for them on the deck I had a couple of sessions so no excuse right but I've never done any proper fishing on here I've done a little bit over white swan uh, I had like a little autumn stint once, uh, I had quite a few, 
um, a few nice ones, done a bit in the, in the more in the edge fishing, one spring ones, but just more of a fl fluttering on water. Gotta get this. Bye. Um, sick. I've been up a bit just with my brother. But um, I've seen Buddy free here now, so I had to run down and get the get the camera, get a little record. Basically I've seen um well I've seen two definite, one possible. Just as open my eyes, sort of in this zone out here. Not a million miles from me at all. Like 20, 30 yards, if that. But yeah. Thought I'd come and get a little bit on record. He's seen a couple down there. I'm seeing a couple here. Sort of need to keep my eyes out of here, really, and just sort of tell me am I staying or am I going. <laughs> Um, not massively infused about the spots that I'm actually on. Didn't speak about that yesterday so much. I right? just a couple of sort of gravelly areas. Didn't want to mess around too much because um, you know it was fishy. Uh, so sort of thought I'd leave it till last night and this morning to sort of like the fish tell me where to put rigs more. I would say. But anyway, I'll shut up. Let's just come white. Let's enjoy. Like a muppet, mate. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I haven't really seen. It does me head in this. Um, I need a new camera. I haven't really seen you much in this vlog. I just feel like you've been hiding, mate. I've got to say about that. Anyway, enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've moved. Obviously, see them fish last night and hear them in this area. Over here, see a couple more this morning. So I've moved away from my kid. Some social, eh, brother. Good social, aren't I? Yeah. Good at social, but we've had three nights together, so here we go. A bit of big carp fishing. So, yeah, there's a swim here 10 11. Fish is out to this zone. I feel like a bit more in contention. Mate had a fish there last night, uh, mate over there has had a couple. Our kids in here, so I feel like I'm in the mixer. There's fish showing out here now, like a few of them, but just feel like it's a holding area where they, uh, a passing area you go and sit while they're safe, you know. I just don't feel like I've been there. Uh, like I said to myself, I see where they're showing in the night and through to the morning, which I know to be sort of feeding time at the minute. And most of them are in here, you know. Didn't hear nothing out here last night or in there. Seen a few out here this morning, not bite time. Bite time. So yeah, I've moved all my kit down and just left my rods here. Uh, fishing still. So me and our kid can have a couple of brews and then uh, yeah, we've got to go to the shop. Get some um, bits and bats. Probably gonna have an Indian tonight. As we'll take away it up, haven't we? <laughs> oh, there's a carp. Boosh. Why is it so doing me head in? Sorry, guys. There's one right there. But I can't get to there, obviously, but I'm gonna be sort of in that zone. Like this sort of zone, you know what I mean? So you can't fish sort of past that. Air eater and out here, that's this this swim's water over here. But anyway, I'll show you later. Bye. Here's my swim. Oh, that's where I've moved to. I saw that one yesterday and obviously had them last night and seen them this morning. So all sort of towards this air eater, see a couple, that's where I see the first one, a bit of fizzing. And then out in this area I heard them last night. Uh, and then I did it too. Bang on this sort of tree line here, quite short. Well, I say quite short, so 80 to 100 yards, 100 yards probably. So, uh, gonna investigate that area maybe for the third rod. I mean, I'm happy to commit three rods out there, depending on what I'm gonna find. Never fish this swim, have an idea of the makeup of it based on what's down here and what's down here. But I'm uh, pretty sure it's like shallow this side and drops into the deeper like the rest of the bay does drops into the deep and i'm pretty sure i can get some deep water here and obviously with matey catching there matey catching there i know that they'll be in the deep water but there's fish showing in the shallow water as well so doesn't mean all about the deep water um camp set up just gonna um i'm gonna keep locked up for now lock it all up hello morning <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to keep rocked up for now. I'm going to go down the shop, 
get some supplies in that first and get back get myself all organized because mate using this swim is moving into this swim where mate you caught from so i'm hoping i can sort of see where he's gonna go first and then i'll ping a ping a head out and have a mess around once i've seen where he's going <sighs> that's it just sorted some bits out to take to the van update completed <gasps> Having a deja vu from the Milton Keynes campaign. Long range, pinks. <laughs> yeah, just got to put the uh, casting braid back on this one. Um, but yeah, been as weirded up, mate, over there. He's uh, he's going to give me a bell. Just giving me number. He's going to give me a bell when he's going to throw his marker out so I can sort of weigh it up. Ideally, I want to be able to chuck about probably 120 yards to the right of that sort of tall, darker tree there. Um, sort of in the, the, in there somewhere that's where I feel like they were but it might be his water I'm not 100% sure uh, I've wrapped it up at 120 um, so I'm going to wait for his folk to come out and then I'll chuck mine out and we'll see what happens with them um, you know he gets sort of run in the mill I would say of that water but I'm not 100% sure um, so we'll work out between us. It's better to go and do all that sort of thing isn't it uh, a bit of etiquette between each other and uh, sort of work out between us before people start shouting and body screaming and all that we don't need that do we on the banks here's to get away from that sort of crap but anyway just get myself organized in the swim so we sort everything out and get the old rods out so just quickly i've got block out there to the right of the spot got a folk popped up there to the well to the left of the spot that one uh, the right hand spot, I'm putting a couple of these bad boys. I thought a bit of an adapted. Uh, some of the makers show me with the worm rig, but I've adapted it to my noodle and put a uh, manila dumbbell and a bit of artificial corn for the top. The idea being that this sits well away from the hook um, so it doesn't. Um, sorry, it's kind of a bit blurry. Yeah, the idea being that this sits well away from the hook so they don't hook on. I put foams on this obviously, um, but if the worms do get nailed out of there or come off or whatever in the cast, the hook bait and the corn are still going to be on that are balanced perfectly to this rig. So I've got one with a pink, one with a yeah, one with pink, one with yellow, just a few worms, not loads, because obviously I've got to cast it a very long way. And then I've got to have the old faith right there, haven't I? Pink hinge in that deep water to the west, like 18 foot that left on the spot. That right hand one comes up to about 10 foot, but sort of plateaus out there on the grebers. That's the idea, two on the right on the worm rigs, one in that deep silt to the left. And our kid is just helping me out here with a load of chopped worm to go among this uh, manila and maize. Just gonna mulch it all up into a bit of a slot, spray it out there. It's not many worms, about probably half a kilo or something. A few to get them rooting around these three tubs. That's it. Cool. Let's go. Cool. Right, so not long gone dark, the stove on, just kicking a bit of heat in the biv. Uh, and we've got a Chinese en route, but I've just seen, uh, or well heard, and then seen the rings. One out there, probably a little bit longer and slightly left of them, two rods on the right. With the uh, worm noodle buddy dumbbell off the rigs on. <laughs> um, which is a good sign. It's a good sign. Come on the carbs. I reckon there's a bite on the cars between something like that. Well, now and ten I would say, but you never know, it could happen at any time, but we'll see. Come on the carbs. Oh, I said it was coming. Said it was coming. Almost steamed up. The heat coming off me. Lovely.
first light incoming see me first show oh it's not quite light enough buddy what 60 yards at most right in that little uh where was that that one there no not that one that one there 60 yards short obviously they were showing right the night before um, a short that sort of range weren't they so um definitely got to investigate that area further um, I did chuck some weds out of there um, yesterday out there yesterday found a couple of little sort of drops and that but I think um, I'll have a proper wed there today at some point um, Let's see if I can find something that feels alright and then maybe even go out in the boat and have a thump around because it's only shower there anyway so it'll be nice easy work. Um, you know, find something that sort of feels right. <clears throat> and then, um, um, yeah, just pop the mark up and have a little thump around it, just double checking it because dying weed can be a really, really, can be ag trying to um, lead up. Obviously, if you've got the bonus of being able to use the boat, you can go out and just see if there's any sort of drifting. Or, you know, if the weed's dying and it's just sort of soft and sat there just off the bottom, you can quite easily drop through it, um, like a couple of inches of it, and not know it's there because it's just soft and dying. And if you, when you pull back, it just all rips, so you don't even literally feel any resistance. Well, I mean, I might find something that's like, wah, um, you know. Um, with the lead without having to thump around. We'll see. Anyway, just chatting Macca. It's in the couple now. One I'm pretty sure was on me. That one's just left of me. I'm most certainly staying put. Three times this has come out now. Three bloody times. Come on, come out again. Hey, backwards winding. <laughs> Absolutely having it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That was quality. Mm -hmm. uh, he's done now. He's done now. <sighs> Old Dumbo in the background there. Oh, he's put his hat. He's put his hat on now. Bless him. Oh, he's on the phone to Cashy. Oh what, Cashy, a cop's just jumped in front of me. Quick, get your bucket. Can't be, sorry, I'm in work, lad. <laughs> Unlucky lid. <laughs> oh, the boys, the banter. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Absolutely nothing. Set that out, just in case. Right then, it's chaos. <laughs> Now, I've brought these three rods in and I've took ch ch two choddies out sort of where, you know, sort of 60 yards out here. Just why I've got rods out of the water. It's nice having these rods. I'm always actually going to carry this now. Made me a little, um, this is, uh, by the way, a lot of people do ask if this is coming out, this uh, this Scopes uh, rucksack. It's not. Um, it was just a prototype that we had made and I uh, managed to end up with it. So, yeah, I'm always going to carry this as my chod setup now. It's a little tiny thing and I'm always always switching and changing when it comes to choddies you've got to switch over your end tackle you can't usually carry two sets of rods but with that it's a tiny little rod bag i can have them set up on choddies all the time and then all i got to do if i see fish showing and i don't want to change all my end tackle out on the main rods because they're big light braid casting rods i'd have to switch spills so basically they're four carbon dot naked choddies on them at all times and i can just throw them at showing fish um, so I've just got rods in the water, haven't I? You know, and you never know that, that a spot might die off in the in the day, and they end up in this area, and it's good for choddies. You know what I mean? So it's just giving me that option uh, while I'm messing around with these rods, especially. I might as well have some rods in the water, haven't I? 
just a little edge. Uh, I found a spot. They were a bit further to fish this morning and a bit left. I was fishing sort of right inside of that tall green tree. I'm now on left hand side, the marker's there. It's uh, 31 wraps, which I believe is just, uh, that's 12 foot wraps as well. I believe that is at the extremities of my water because look, you've got that aerator there, so it can't be fished from that swim there, which my brother is in anyway. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a no man's land I'm guessing, and it's just down the base of the shelf, picking up a little bit of clay. It's mega, like right? it's a mega spot. So I've literally got a bit of mix here. I've left the soil in these worms, a few worms chopped up, a bit of manila all crushed, and some maize as well for a bit of colour. So that's what I'm going with. I'm going to literally lever all that out. It's not loads, what probably two kilo of weight in total at most. Um, just the bottom of the bucket. I'm going to level that across three rods and put three rods out. All on, um, all on noodles with a few worm tippers because they came in beautifully. Happy days. So, that's what I'm doing. Yo, yo, yo. Alrighty then. Get these wrapped up. Pink out there. 49 wraps. Only gel. <laughs> Can that be alright? Not sure if that shot works, but be alright. Man and shot is in, sort of dear how arms out. I'm going here. Left hand side of that tree, so they should all be here, sort of on the left. Yeah, that's it. And this. This is the Chinese from last night. <laughs> Alright, do it. Days. I'm happy with that, really happy. Three tram lines. Should have come in here from the stand, done this. Bloody one night at it. Look at these. Let's pick these up. Absolute tremadol. Oh, yeah. Right, we've just uh, come round to have an Indian tonight. Thought we'd have the trio. Look at that mega, mate. Look at that moon rising. What are you saying, mate? Is the end of the harvest moon? I think so. Wow. Look at that. It's red as anything. I tell you what, there's a beautiful shot to be had if anyone was decent with a camera. That reflection in that water there is incredible. Anyone good with a camera? <laughs> <laughs> Indian tonight. With the boys. Don't oh, worry, Mick, I've cut your head off, mate. They can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> you always staying quiet. That might be yours, mate. Yeah, no, we've got Sybil. Hello, yeah. Sybil. Oh, she's got her eyes on one thing and one thing only, mate. You won't have that line pickle. <laughs> right then. The Indian is done. Just warming up, warming the bivvy up. See what the old night brings. Come on, love our kid to get one. Obviously, he's the guest, so hopefully he gets one over there. He's definitely fishing his own, like seeing him. So obviously, he's a good angler. He can catch him. Mm. Lovely if we both got one, but 
Well, just one of us, but hopefully my brother would love him to get one. Because obviously I've got a ticket on here. And he hasn't, so I've got plenty of time. All right. Nighty night. Back. Zero carps on the black swan thing. But we are back to white swan next weekend, bruv. Not this weekend, weekend after. Um, 11th of November, so do a bit more filming over there. Boy, bros on tour. We've got a couple of the other boys coming. Andy was coming, but he's uh, chinned us off, the lad who edits us, uh, edits these videos. Um, he's, he's, um, he's found love in his life. And obviously, she's more important than us. We have given the advice that, you know, he should start as he means to go on. If he stops fishing and sees her, um, and then tries to reintroduce fishing to his life later in life, um, yeah, he, um, he might be in trouble. But, you know, whatever. Trying to wrap it around because he's got to go Cassian for a week or whatever. But he's basically full-time fisherman anyway. So, yeah, um, Andy's not coming. We've got our mate Ben and our mate Nicky Butterworth um, coming with us. So it'll be a four-man social, possibly a six-man if Coxie and uh, Nicky Williams pull their finger out and get booked on. We shall see. But, yeah, until then, bye.